Hey guys, so today we're going to do something amazing. We're going to harness the power of the sun. How are we going to do this? We're going to put solar panels on the van. After seeing the same setup in my friend Gio's van and how well it worked, I absolutely had to get my hands on the stuff and put it into my van. I got all of the actual stuff that's like for the solar charging from Renogy Solar. Um, and then stuff like the uh, mounting hardware and stuff like that just off of Amazon and all of the links will be provided below in the description of the video. Alright, so now let's talk a little bit about what I got. This is a 100 watt Renogy Eclipse monocrystalline 12 volt rigid solar panel. It weighs only about 15 pounds and it has a nice corrosion resistant aluminum frame on it. But what I really bought it for was for its 40.9 by 21 inch dimensions. It is going to fit perfectly in the luggage rack portion of the pop top on my van. Now to go along with this solar panel, I bought this uh, solar charge controller. This is the Adventure LI. It has 12 volt and 24 volt capabilities and can even charge lithium batteries. It also has a really nice USB charging port on the uh, front panel. Another great thing about this charge controller is that it can be paired with this, which is a Bluetooth module, and this allows you to monitor and change settings right from your phone. To plug it all together, I just got these charge uh, controller to solar panel wires, and also these controller to the battery wires. In my opinion, one of the most impressive things about my friend's solar system was the way that he mounted it to the luggage rack on the pop top. The panel is mounted by four stainless steel hinges that can easily be taken apart and put back together so that the panel can be removed from the car and put back on really easily. This is also pretty cool because if you only take off one half of the solar panel's uh, hinges, you can tilt the panel forward or backwards and point it more directly into the sun, which lets you get more power out of the panel. All right, so let's get everything all hooked up and see how it works. I started by removing the luggage rack on the pop top. This was the first time it had been off in a really long time, so a lot of dirt had collected underneath it. After cleaning the rack as much as I could, I thought this would be a good time to put on a new seal. I also installed little screens on the drains so that no more leaves or dirt could get stuck underneath the pop top. I made sure to leave the rear driver side drain open so that we could feed the wires through it. Instead, I put a grommet through it to protect the wires. Next, I drilled two small holes just large enough for the solar wires to fit through. Now we can remove the four corner strap hooks from the rack. This is where we'll be installing the hinges. I test fit the panel to make sure everything fit right. I installed the front hinges using the innermost holes from the original strap hooks as a guide. Then I placed the panel right around where it should sit when the project is done. I pushed the front hinge up against the panel and marked where the other hole should be drilled. I put the panel back into position on the center of the rack. The center line on the panel should line up with the center hook. I marked where to drill the holes on the panel for the front hinges. Make sure to drill the holes just under the marks to ensure that the panel doesn't sit directly on the rack. Now the panel can be folded up and down. I lined up the hinges on the back of the rack, 
These are very close to the bottom edge of the panel's frame, so the holes will need to be very precise. Now I can feed the wires through the grommet that I installed on one of the drain holes. Using a bit of soap and water also helps pulling them through. So this is going to be the positive one coming off the panel. And this one is going to be the negative. So when you plug these in, this one will go to this. So this one will be the negative. I marked where the positive and negative wires will go just to make it easier on myself later on. I put a zip tie underneath the rack on the wires to make sure that they wouldn't be pulled out anymore. Now is a good time to clean up the roof before I put the luggage rack back on. Now that the rack weighed a little more, I needed some help putting it back on. The wires will now have to be fed under the aluminum rail that holds the canvas onto the roof. It's a tight fit, but it works. I mounted the charge controller in a convenient spot and plugged everything in, following the manual very closely. The panel is now on and looks fantastic. The space between the panel and the rack is actually the perfect place to store stuff, so the rack can still be used. The panel is also pretty flush to the roof line, so clearance won't be an issue. Let's see how it performs in a real world situation. The Bluetooth app is pretty simple to use, and it'll tell you pretty much everything you need to know. I do wish that the load reading would work, as it would be nice to see what power I was using. I'm also pretty sure that the settings for preferences can only be changed with the lithium battery setting. I have an AGM battery, so I set the charger to gel, since that's pretty close to an AGM setting. I'm really happy with the way that everything turned out. It's going to be a game changer to be able to collect clean energy for the power in the van. See you next time, and thank you for watching.